Good morning and welcome to our chapel for Friday, May 7th. Let's start with our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a few birthdays, starting with tomorrow, Saturday, the 8th of May, 7th grader Ion Reggae. Also tomorrow on Saturday, 3rd grader Charlotte Glenn. On Sunday, three birthdays, 6th grader Isabella Ruggieri, 2nd grader Ava Raphael, and 2nd grader Malia Wolford. Happy birthday to Ion, Charlotte, Isabella, Ava, and Malia. And looking ahead to Monday, the 10th, first grade teacher, Miss Machandero. Happy birthday to you, Vicki. Okay, now let's make a few announcements. Uh, first of all, thank you to everyone who showed up last night at Milky Way Farms for our eighth grade fundraiser. A great time was had by all, particularly that cow. And uh, we raised a, a lot of money to support the eighth grade uh, close of the year activities. Uh, lots of special things happening for the eighth grade as we honor them and head toward graduation. One of those special days is our lettering day, which traditionally happens here in chapel. Uh, but because uh, we have the opportunity uh, next Thursday night to bring the eighth grade class together uh, with parents for their Make a Difference Day celebration, we're going to do that then. So uh, we'll be doing our lettering day and Make a Difference Day presentations on Thursday night. And then we're going to record parts of that, and that's going to actually be our chapel for next week, um, which is convenient because the 7th and 8th grade have a uh, physical science field trip that they're taking next Thursday. I'm sorry, next Friday. So we'll be doing something here Thursday night, and then you can watch it on Friday as, as our chapel for next week. Okay, I am very excited to make this introduction. This is a um, chapel I've been looking forward to all year, as you know. We like to put focus on different uh, cultures that are represented within our community. And uh, today, for the first time, we're going to do a chapel uh, to celebrate Eid. Eid is a um, Muslim holiday, and it comes at the end of Ramadan. Uh, Ramadan is a ninth month in the lunar calendar, um, during which Muslim people around the globe fast from dawn to dusk for about 30 days. They cherish this time of reflection and community, and they focus on the concept of selflessness. At the end of this holy month, people celebrate with a three-day-long celebration called Eid al-Fitr. That is the celebration that we're going to talk about in chapel today. And to teach us about that, we have three presenters from our community. Ali Hagar, his uncle Mahadi Hagar, and Amira Benarib. Um, and to give further introduction to this special chapel, Madame Igamat, or as we know her, Madam E. Take it away. Good morning, Montgomery School. Thank you very much, Mr. McManus, for that wonderful introduction. Every region around the world has its own cultural and religious holidays, and one of the most joyful ones for Muslim people is called Eid al-Fitr. One cool fact about this joyful holiday is that children and teenagers receive tons of gifts and money from relatives and friends, and many of them choose to donate some of those to other kids and teens who are less fortunate. At the end of today's chapel, each classroom will receive a gift. Your teacher will tell you more about it, and together, as a class, you will decide when, where, and how you can use it. But what exactly is Eid al-Fitr, you might ask? How do people really celebrate it? 
Without further ado, I will let two of our Montgomery students, Ali, a fourth grader, and Mia, a sixth grader, tell us all about it. After all, it is one of their favorite holidays. We are also extremely grateful and fortunate to have Ali's uncle, Mr. Mahdi, join us and tell us all about what Eid is like in their part of the world. What is Eid? Eid, also called the Festival of Breaking the Fast, is a holiday celebrated by Muslims all around the world. It marks the end of the month-long sunrise to sunset fasting of Ramadan. After Ramadan is over, we rejoice during Eid. We get together with friends and family to celebrate the culmination of Ramadan. Why do we celebrate? We fast during Ramadan to feel what the hungry and poor people feel. Even during Ramadan, we are blessed to know when our next meal is, contrary to those who are less fortunate. In Islam, we believe that people don't understand what others go through until they walk a mile in their shoes. Some traditions around the world. During Ramadan, we make bigger dinners than usual because we invite so many people to our dinner table to celebrate together. In fact, feeding people is considered to be a good deed in Islam. Some foods that people around the world eat are fig and lemon chicken, lentil soup, Moroccan soup, beef meatballs, and tomato sauce. In Islam, we can only eat food that is halal. It is very similar to eating only kosher foods in Judaism. So here is a video of what an Eid celebration would look like.
The best part of a holiday is to learn about the different customs of Muslim children all around the world. The kids have a lot of men to in Afghanistan and samosas and nan in Pakistan. In the UK, they have so much fish and chips, and kids in China like to slurp noodle with their lips. In Turkey, they eat turkey. Just kidding, they eat delicious, delicious pudding. Kids eat shrimp and chili in Malaysia, and spicy grilled meats in Indonesia. The kids in France eat Nutella crepes, and an American eat yummy burgers and steaks. Kids eat kebabs in Syria, in Iraq, and Iran. Kids love falafel in, in Palestine, in Egypt, and Liban. Hello, everyone. My name is Mahdi, and I am actually Ali's uncle. Thank you for allowing me to share my experience about Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr with you today. Um, as it was mentioned, Ramadan is really a month about reflection and self and community improvement. It is a time for us to reflect on all the things we are grateful for, like our health, safety, food, family, and more. It's also a time to practice discipline, being more kind to your friends and family, and just giving back to the community, not only in the forms of charity, but also time, knowledge, and service. Eid al-Fitr really marks the end and is the conclusion of this journey. I am Iranian-American, and in Iran, friends and family gather together to reflect and give back to the community. Most of the time, we have a big meal with each other and exchange gifts and pray, sort of like Thanksgiving. A lot of the time, people will organize big feasts for the entire community so everyone can eat together under the same roof. And often, people give food to the hungry and homeless. Friends and family usually dress up in new clothes and visit each other's homes and give gifts. Also, a lot of people might be off from work or school and so a lot of families go on vacation and spend time together that way. Thank you again for your time, and happy Eid al-Fitr to you all. Some of our traditions. On Eid, my mom and I make shaped cookies with holes and jam in them. We also make shorba and borek. Shorba is a kind of super stew that has veggies and meat and something called frik, which is a bit like barley. Borek is like a dumpling or a pierogi, but it is fried and has potatoes and cheese in it, and sometimes olives. We also make cookies that are shaped like moons and stars. Their dough is kind of like sugar cookies, but a little less sweet. More traditions. During Ramadan, one of the most important traditions is passing around the plate of dates. This symbolizes the breaking of the fast, and we always say a prayer before we eat. Often, we do have milk with our dates. More Ayid traditions. On Ayid, we make cookies that are like moons and stars, which symbolize Islam. We, cel we celebrate with our families and we eat a lot of sweets. We also dress up in either traditional or fancy clothes and we decorate our hands with gorgeous, gorgeous henna designs that are temporary and wash off. Similarly to the countdown to Christmas, we use a calendar to count down to the Eid celebration. Each day, kids pick out a card with a good deed to do for that day. For example, on the 24th, the 24th. It says, God loves it when kids give gifts to other people. Can you think of a gift that you can give to someone today? Here are some ideas, a toy you don't need, a drawing you made, a card with a nice message inside. What gift are you going to give today? Laylatul Qadr, also called the Night of Possibilities, is on the eve of the 26th on the Ramadan calendar. It is the most important night in Ramadan. Thank you, and Aid Mubarak.